Hello, welcome back all my wonderful viewers. I thought it'd be great to start recording this next episode of the title screen review. This will be episode 2, The Darkest Dungeon. Now, this is a personal favorite of mine. It's a real old, lovely game. Uh, or it's not that old, actually. It was uh, recently, not too recently, came out of uh, early access. You see, it's a fantastic fantastic play if you're into some nice dungeon crawlers. But enough about the game, let's focus on the title screen. You see, uh, as a stark contrast from from the Overwatch review, we've got a lot of really muted, dark colors here, and not a lot of life, which the contrast, though it might seem really striking, and I did compliment Overwatch very much on having its sort of lively, bright, colorful uh, gameplay, I felt that it was very good for that game because it was so good for that game, for Overwatch. Whereas here in the Darkest Dungeon, I find it's equally as fitting and just beautiful artwork. I simply l adore the red-screened backgrounds uh, and the just the shadowed. It's just wonderful masterpiece. Red Hook has done a fantastic job with the art directory and the sounds and just. The Darkest Dungeon is a nightmarish experiment for all of you hardcore masochists who enjoy gaming out there. Uh, now, interface-wise, of course, we gotta point out, the game is not as solid, or the, the interface-wise, not as solid, you see. Here on the uh, interface for this one, we've just got the campaign button. You know, there's no chat, which of course there's no chat because it's a single-player only game. Uh, so it's lacking a lot more of the features. We simply have this button that opens up the campaign feature. And, uh, of course, picking from the campaigns, we have three different save slots. Which, you know, pretty decent. You wouldn't want too many different save slots. You also get a little ticker running down here with the latest updates. You've got uh, a newsletter and this thing, which opens up. Yeah, opens that up. Uh... The game is beautiful, the interface looks really good, but the game, it's very aesthetically, the menu, the title screen is pleasing. You've got a little animated torch here, uh, but it's just, it's not a lot. It's amazing, but there's just not much to look at, you know? So, yeah, and that's my two cents on the Darkest Dungeon title screen. I hope you enjoyed. It might be a bit shorter this time around because there's just, not, again, not as much to look at. It's a very simplistic and beautiful aesthetic. Just, just look at how these shadows, the shadows of these trees here, that's just, oh, that's just magnificent. The shadowing is just great. The color palette is delicious. Very Lovecraftian, very, uh, very, like it says, very dark and very dungeon-esque. Possibly the darkest and the most dungeon-esque title screen. That's the review, and uh, that's what I think of the Darkest Dungeon title screen, and I hope you enjoyed, and I uh, hope that you look forward to the next episode. All right. And thank you again for watching. Good night.